Welcome to our review on electrostatics. So first thing we need to understand here then is how we actually generate this electrostatic charge. So what we're actually going to have to do to generate that charge then is to have two insulating materials which are going to be rubbed together. When that happens, those insulating materials become charged either with a positive or a negative charge. And all of that is caused by the movement of electrons from one insulating material to the other. You need to remember two examples of what's actually happening with this electrostatic charge and the movement of electrons. So in our first one, we've got a polythene rod, which we're going to be rubbing with a woolen cloth. So in that instance, what's going to happen is the electrons are going to be moving from the cloth to the rod. And because the rod has gained electrons, then it's going to become negatively charged. And then the, because the woolen cloth has obviously lost those electrons, it becomes positive. The second example is an acetate rod being rubbed with that woolen cloth. Now, in this instance, what we're actually going to see is that the acetate rod is going to lose the electrons to the cloth. So in that instance, because our rod has lost electrons, it becomes positive, And because the woolen cloth has gained electrons, it becomes negative. The last thing we need to understand then is what happens with those charged objects. If we've got the opposite charge, so that's one positive, one negative, what we actually see there is that the opposite charges will attract each other. However, if we've got like charges, so that means that the charges are the same, so two negatives or two positives, then what we see is that they will repel each other.